all right guys thanks for clicking on this one i do appreciate it uh this video is about a very cheap reel that really really surprised me uh cast king contacted me about two and a half years ago and they said mike we'd love for you to try out some of our reels let us know what you think so i looked through their stuff and they had a lot of reels between say 30 bucks and like 100 bucks and then some that were around 200 so i had no interest in the 200 dollars reels i wanted to see if they're extremely uh, more affordable reels were any good so i picked out some of their cheaper ones this is the uh, crixus it was like 50 bucks i think and uh, there were a couple other ones i tried but I, I got all the cheap stuff because i can already recommend plenty 150 dollars and 200 dollars reels there's they're everywhere in the market but i wanted something i can recommend for people who don't have a huge budget you know and they need something decent so that's why i don't know if you guys have noticed but over the years uh you know i, I do like to use the high-end stuff but i always try to also have a more affordable version of everything that i do recommend because hey i understand people don't have it all in their budget they don't maybe don't fish a whole lot and they just don't have that uh fishing budget that that uh, i am fortunate enough to have so i wanted to make sure i have a good second choice for everybody so when i got this reel uh first thing i did was check the drag compared to all my other reels uh you know just by hand and it felt as good or even better than some of the reels some of the more expensive reels so uh, i strapped it on a rod and went to work with it you guys may have seen in the video where i dunked this thing this is that little casking reel i want to see how long this casking reel will last We'll see how long it lasts when I do that. There you are. <laughs> We're going to speed up the uh, testing of this guy. <laughs> a little salt water quick dip. A lot of guys are asking about this Cast King reel after I dunked it twice. And I just do a quick dunk so I don't want to get water down in the bearing necessarily but i do want to get it wet with salt water so we're going to give her a third dunk this is that casting 59 dollar reel that i dunked four times well i got to give her the traditional dunk I dunked it four times to see if, how long it'll last. I dunked it in salt water six or seven times over the course of maybe eight months. And I, I think the first time I did it, I rinsed it with water at the end of the day, but I did not rinse it the other following times. I just wanted to see if I could speed up the, you know, uh, the, de the deterioration of this reel so I don't have to wait several years to do a video. I still did wait almost two years, but uh, so caught lots of fish on it. And in this video here, I'm going to show you clips of some of the fish that I caught. There we go. This little casking. I have about eight reels in this boat that are $300, and I'm using this little casting all day. <laughs> I got it. Got it? Yeah. Catch it. I'm hoping you can catch one off of this. I don't think they want that popper. Oh, I just got thumped as I was walking to the back. There we go. Oh, yeah. Hook up bait. Hook up bait. Yeah, no, they don't want that dang popper. At least I had one hit it, but I dropped it right on his head. And he still didn't. Ooh. Whoop. Tommy's hooked up. Is that popper? No. <laughs> they won't touch that dang thing. And I had not taken this apart to see what it looks like inside. And all the dunks I did were super fast. You know, I didn't just hold it under the water and let all the gears and everything inside fill up with the water. I just did a quick dunk in and out real quick. I kept using it. Uh, the only corrosion that I can see 
There's a little corrosion here you can see on the screw uh, where the powder coat or the paint has chipped off of it. Uh, I don't see anything else really on the reel except when I open it up, just a side plate here, there is some uh, corrosion on some of the magnets. Can you see that right there? See that this one's good, nice and shiny. That one's nice and shiny. The two in the middle are a little more dull and these are a bit corroded. Bearing is still great. I have not added any more lubrication at all. I was really trying to make this thing just die. Uh, I didn't think it was going to last for more than just a few dunks. Uh, I really didn't. I thought it was going to go quick. So after a while, when it wasn't going, I started dunking it more and <laughs> beating on it more, trying to get the sucker to meet its end. But uh, it didn't. And this is still a very fishable reel. I, I mean, it's there wasn't a huge difference. There really is almost no difference in feel from a $150 reel. Uh, so, you know, if you're normally buying $150 reels, this is a great option. You can get three of these, you know, for the price of one $150 reel. And I'm telling you, there is almost no difference. So this reel around the $50 range, I mean, it still, you know, spins forever. And I'm not making anything off of this. I don't make a penny off a of sale, not a dime. Matter of fact, the person who contacted me from Casting isn't even there anymore. Uh, and I probably won't do any more work with them. I don't know. Maybe I will if they want to send me some cheap stuff. But, but again, I had no interest in the high-end stuff because there's already tons and tons of that. I was really interested in trying to find a good, uh, uh, you know, reel that you can use every day at like an entry point price. And I think this is it. I'm going to keep using it. Like I said, it's been, I think, around two years now or so. And I'm just going to, uh, you know, beat, beat the tar out of it and see how long she stays together. But I think it's a really good option for someone who uh, uses like $150 reels. Uh, this is not as good or this will never replace with like a $300 reel. But it's all right. This is a great workhorse reel. You can buy a bunch of them. Uh, if you maintain them a little bit, certainly more than I did, they may last uh, for years and years and years. I don't know. I don't, I don't have any reason to think this is going to fail anytime soon. I have enough confidence in this to use it all day long. I'll put a link in the uh, description, an Amazon link, uh, if you guys want to try to buy one or check them out or whatever. Uh, but that's it. Again, they don't pay me. Casting didn't send me a dime. They just sent me a few reels. If you use my Amazon link, that is an affiliate link, so I'll get you know a couple beans uh, if you use my Amazon link. Uh, but it's no huge amount of money that I'm getting paid to you know say one reel is better than the other because I can get the Amazon affiliate links for any brand. Thanks for watching, guys. I always appreciate your support. Please put in the comments what you think of a reel like this. And would you use it if you're a high-end guy? And uh, please stay safe on the water. Leave a few for me and my family and my boys. And I love you. And I mean it. Thanks, guys. If I can get a bigger fish to hit the BKD. I'm gonna check the BKD. He's hooked up, ladies and gentlemen. Look at him. What you got there, Timmy? I'm trying to throw that hook. Wow. I'm gonna drive it. Yes, sir. Pretty. Ooh, thank you, Captain. A little white and chartreuse hooked up bait. Yeah. Oh, a tiny one, huh? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Captain. A little hookup bait. <laughs> Deadly. I'm going to give Tim the same color. Well, he just had one on that, right? Woo! The nose is running like a son of a gun. <laughs> That brown color. Alright, bring them to me. 
Pull up more. Okay. There you go. Good looking fish. Good job on that brown hookup Thank bait. You. Oh yeah. We'll see him around us behind us. Are oh, they all up up upwind? Man, my hand is frozen and I love it. Yep, followed your bait right up. Just a brief question here. So how are you working that thing, Tom? You sinking it? Yeah, I'm just trying to go to the let it sink and bring it back up. Let yeah. me soak it up. Alright, step to the back. You guys taking a little line. That's alright. You know what to do. <laughs> how were you working it? Were you sinking it? Let it sink or? A little bit, yeah. Doubled. Can I do it? Can I make it a triple? Oh, I just got tapped. What's that little casting reel still doing pretty good? That's a nice one, Tim. It's a pretty one. The one that brown one? Yeah. Yeah, he's doing good with the brown one. That's great. There we go. There we go. Hopper? Nope. Hook up bait. I like these because you get to work the bait. You don't just cast and retrieve. You got him, Yeah. Man, he inhaled that one, did he? Those little ones just gone. Dang. Look how he inhaled that bait. This is all white. A good one. Good job, bro. Oh yeah. What'd you break, Crusher? I have Crusher and Crusher 2 on the boat. What'd you break? Uh, not, nothing. There's a Comoran in the mix too. Side skin is full. They're all over the left side. See those fish all over the port side? There's bait there. Fish on the port. All right, you guys. If you haven't used these hookup baits before, you can see there's no paddle tail back here. So as you retrieve, any slight twitch of the rod and the thing jerks and twitches and goes up and down and left and right, you could actually make it so erratic that a fish almost can't get it. It's a great looking bait in the water. But you have to work it. It's not going to do all the work for you. Like a plastic swim shad. Oh, I just felt the fish whack it right away. Come on, come on. Uh, I think it's... There we go. But So you can see how I was working it. If you just steadily retrieve it, even when I throw it through a big group of fish, it just doesn't... Hello. That's screamer. Tommy, right here, man. Okay. I want to crowd you. So you see, I had to really kind of work the bait, which is great. So I like about it. It's a cool little bait. And I liked it. After 10 fish or so, you can just replace the body. You don't have to replace the whole bait. You want one? Yep. Line for you. A little better? Oh, yeah. Thick one. Oh, that's 
pretty fish. Good one. Look at that net. Look out. That white hook up here, man. Things are deadly. Good job. Good job. Good job. Guys, when you're doing this by yourself, uh, when you're around birds, you want to get close. No birds. Okay. You want to get close, you want to get upwind, and you don't want to knock the birds away. If you get too close, the birds will fly away, and you need them around. They really help you. If you really start to annoy the birds a lot, they'll move, especially if there's lots of bait all around. They'll leave where you are, and you'll kind of screw up, and you'll scare away your best fish finder. Uh, it's nice today, because there's only one other boat out here, so we don't have to worry about jockeying for position or screwing each other up. And there's lots of boats and you do everything right. And someone plows right through and scares them all away. Don't yell and scream. I mean, it feels like it. Your heart wants to explode. You want to scream at the guy, but he's just excited to catch a fish. He's not doing it on purpose. But if you get close enough to talk, talk to him. Just be nice about it. Add him to your network. All over the all over the left side. All over the left side. So port side is loaded up. I'm gonna go ahead and put it, I'm gonna kill it right here. Coast up through it. Look at that. Dude, I've already ordered a replacement for this casking reel because I thought it'd be dead by now. And it's not. Oh, there we go. There go. Yeah. Little casking reel hooked up. Awesome. Not real big. It's fighting hard, but this little casking reel has been a Kind of funny, pleasantly surprising little thing. $50 reel. Fish over here. A little hookup bait. Here you go. Good job. Look at that little guy. <laughs> it's like a baby. It's a baby. It's a good sign. They're behind us thick now. They're in front of us, they're behind us. Let's go to the ones behind us, what do you think? That was great. <laughs> like you're trying to like keep quiet and like keep slick. And it's like it's a total great. <laughs> so funny I had to do that. It's like a big group of left. Oh, it's so good. It's so fun. There we go. Man, such a, a light tap, almost like it's a plastic worm. You know, they, the name for these baits is the perfect name. Yeah, it's like when you just want to stop playing and you just want to hook up. Just took like five casts with that 10 inch BKD, even though I know it's tiny bait, just to see. Never know, it might be bigger fish around. Nope, they don't want it. They're keyed in on these little baits. Throw anything that doesn't look like those little baits. Non-productive. Dude, this fish is so filled with bunker. Its belly's all distended. Tim, nope. they'll really just tap it sometimes, man. You'll just feel like the slightest tap. And they'll only hold it for a second. So when you feel that tap, anything that feels strange, just go ahead and yank. Like they're not always gonna take it out of your hand, you know. Wow. Look how fat this guy is. A little chubby bait on that hookup bait. 
Yeah. Little hookup bait. Little chubby fish. So fat. What bait are you throwing? Bro, side scan is lit up on both sides. Look at that. Woo! I haven't, uh, haven't really tried the flutter spoon yet. Wow, look at that, guys. Side scan is lit up. Goop it up. Got some stink for you, Tom, Tim. Want some stink? Dude, look at him breaking back there, right off front of you, Tommy. Tim, go throw it back there. Right behind you. Get, get. There we go. Hooked up. Tim, come back here. Drag the bottom. You feel a tick. Cross there. And I swear, dude, they just won't hold it. A little tick, right. and a little tick, and they drop it. This little cast game. I have about eight reels in this boat that are three hundred dollars, and I'm using this little casting all day. <laughs> I got it. Got it. Yeah. Catch it. I'm hoping you can catch one off of this. Go all over the screen, guys. Side scan. All over the screen down there. They're everywhere down there. Nice. Tommy's hooked up. What did it feel like when he hit? Uh, he hit it, he let it go. And I kept with it. I kept tugging it and jerking it. And he hit it again and he made me very happy. <laughs> They're finicky, right? Yes. This year it's been very uh, very important to throw what they're eating. We, we'll go over to school these fish where they're just busting, busting, busting. You can see the lines coming out of the water. We throw a 10 inch bait and they just won't touch it. I mean, you could roll it right in front of them, they won't touch it. So we had to go to these smaller hookup baits a lot this fall. And even further, furthermore, we couldn't even use the brighter colors, you know, like these chartreuse, and even the chartreuse in blue. We had to use the more subdued colors because the water's been so clear. It hasn't had a lot of rain up here. So these browns with a white belly, a pearl, the more subdued colors and the smaller sizes, even this was a little big, uh, th really the size below this was kind of the best. And, uh, and if you know fish are present and you're seeing the fish and they're not biting, change it up, you know, drop it to the bottom, drag the bottom, they won't hit the bottom, bring it through the middle of the water column, bring it up just below the surface then change out the bait, go smaller, go bigger, change the color, keep going until it works. And the more guys you have, bigger your advantage work together you know have one guy throw green one throw yellow one throw white one work the top one work the bottom talk to each other and get it figured out once you get it dialed in stick with that all day but uh, i've had guys on this boat where they change nothing and they catch only a few fish all day and everyone's caught you know 10 20 30 fish even and because they haven't dialed it in they haven't made any adjustments at all it's all about adjustments a lot of times some days you could do no wrong but most of the days you're going to have to make adjustments green's full Screen is loaded. Fish on both sides. Look at that. I don't know if I can reach that. I don't think they want that popper. Oh, I just got thumped as I was walking to the back. There we go. Oh yeah, hookup bait, hookup bait. Yeah, no, they don't want that dang popper. At least, I had one hit it, but I dropped it right on his head. And he still didn't. Ooh. This is a good one. Tim, run back here. Throw that green can. Whoop! 
Tommy's hooked up. Is that a popper? No. <laughs> they won't touch that dang thing. <laughs> Look at the screen, boys. Yeah, this time. Uh, spoon's gonna catch a big one. Let it hit the bottom, bro. I'm like, look at that screen. Oh, little hook up, baby. Let me see him. Did you show him the screen, the camera? Yeah, is he good? Yeah, he was. Uh, and he was right at 28. So. Go, girl. Man, so many up and down there. Draw him into the shallow. Draw him in. Did you draw him in and drown him. Hey, Bodie, we're going in. Slow ahead. I can go slow ahead. Come down here and shovel some of this. Stand by for fire drill. Rig for depth charge. See you brought your rubbers. 